The Electoral College has voted to make it official. Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States. Electors in all 50 states met yesterday to cast their votes. Joe Biden received 306, President Trump 232. Now, they will be tallied in Congress next month, presided over by outgoing Vice President Mike Pence. With COVID precautions in place, some states even deployed extra security for electors. Check this out. 96-year-old Michael Kerwin was escorted by two Michigan police officers while leaving the state capitol after casting his votes for Biden and Harris. In New York, former President Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, both electors, cast their votes for the Biden ticket. Biden addressed the nation after the vote criticizing the Trump campaign for challenging the results while calling for unity. You know, in this battle for the soul of America, democracy prevailed. We, the people, voted. <clears throat> Faith in our institutions held. The integrity of our elections remains intact. And now it's time to turn the page, as we've done throughout our history. We're getting thousands of comments on this story on our CARE 11 Facebook page. Some people saying they're ready for a Biden presidency to bring the country together. Others still expressing their support for Trump. It's also worth mentioning, President Trump announced on Twitter yesterday that Attorney General Bill Barr is resigning. Now, earlier this month, uh, Barr told the Associated Press the Justice Department found no evidence of widespread spread voter fraud in the 2020 election. And, you know, Chris, if uh, Barr had anything to say in terms of grievances, didn't put it in his letter, actually praised the president for his leadership during this time. Yeah, you know, he's uh, going quietly. Mm -hmm. Let's put it that way. We'll have to see if there's a book deal coming out a little right. bit later. Right now, let's get to